Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a bookstore for all of your city building needs. This is the amount of space required to make your build. Feel free to make this grid in your world if you do feel as though it will help you out. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Step one, if you have made the grid, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of it and count backwards, one, two. Begin by placing four green concrete on top of each other. One, two, three, four. Extend right by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then down to the ground. Then extend the fifth block back a row. And then extend to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Extend down to the ground and then extend the 6th block to the right by 3 1, 2, 3 and then down to the ground now starting to extend back we want to extend the 3rd block backwards by 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then down to the ground extend that 8th block across the back of the build by 9 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then down to the ground. Extend two rows forwards, 1, 2, then extend across and join all the way back to the start of the build to give us something which should look a little bit like this. Perfect. So, next up, we are going to add significant detail to the front of the build. First thing we must do is place a layer of black concrete around the entrance, which is on the right side, that is semi-carved out for us already. Underneath the green concrete, that is behind the black concrete, we want to place glass at the top, destroy below, and place oak planks where the doors will be, and then place dark oak wood doors. Now, we're going to extend black concrete to the left, in front of where the green concrete is here, to connect to the left side of the store. We then want to extend all of the black concrete one row forwards, and then continue extending left in front of the left side of the store by one, two rows. So, it wants to look like this. Now, on the right side of the build, we want to overhang a row as well, and then extend it back by a few rows. It, it, the specifics don't really matter, but I'd, I'd extend back by, say, three or four. So, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to seal up the left side of the build with a row of green concrete at the bottom and glass in between, so this is going to be a nice open window. The right side of the green concrete here, we are going to extend a row backwards, add a row of green at the bottom here, and then fill the inside of this window in using glass pane, so we'll have something which should look like this. Oh, in addition to this also, we're going to have a lantern hanging by the door as well, just at the top left-hand side of the door frame with the black concrete. I also want to add a couple of rows of smooth stone. So these sit in front of the store and come to the doors, but we don't want to place smooth stone in the um, in the inside portion here in between the window and the door frame. We want to leave that grass. The oak fence gates are to be placed here on the left side of the build, in front of where the window begins, leave a gap, and then again. And we're going to open those. Those kind of look like um, bike stands, or at least they do in my mind. 
And now that we've done this, we've actually made a good go at the front of the build already, we can move on to the side of the build a little bit, so we'll rotate around clockwise. On the right side of the build, we are going to add a vertical row of green concrete, extend the bottom to the left, one, two, three, up, and then fill this little gap in here using green concrete. This is a window, so we're going to fill it in using glass pane. Across the back of the build, there are no windows, because we have a bunch of stuff against the walls, and you wouldn't even be able to see out of the windows if they existed anyway. So we're going to seal all of this up using green concrete. And then on this side of the build, there is actually a small window. So we want to once again add a vertical row of green concrete, extend the bottom one, two, three, extend up, fill this in using glass, and then in front of this, we'll fill in using green concrete, just like this. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to dig up the flooring for the inside of the bookstore, and we are going to replace it using oak planks. Oak planks, by the way, are completely interchangeable. I wouldn't say that the walls of the bookstore are, so the green and the black, I'd probably keep those as are, as I would the windows, because it kind of has like a nice warm feel. But the flooring definitely is replaceable. Although I wouldn't, because this whole thing has been designed to be kind of like nice and cozy. So I probably wouldn't use a different material. And we're going to be throwing a lot of spruce around for the inside of the build as well. And I find that oak and spruce uh, go quite nicely together. But it is up to you. So, just a little food for thought. But that is the inside of the bookstore, or at least the floor complete. The ceiling is a different story. We're going to use black concrete to fill in the ceiling. And it literally is just placed in between all of the green concrete, just at the top level. So, keeping this colour scheme rather rigid, but it, it honestly does work. It's not a material that I would typically use for a roof. I don't usually like to use stuff this dark, but um, it really does work. It, it looks really nice and it helps to bring that cozy vibe. But once again, feel free to change it if you do so see fit. So now that we have done this, I think that we are going to tackle what I would consider to be not, not my favorite part of the tutorial, but it has to be done. We'll do the sign. So we're going to grab the loom, black banners, white dye going to put a black banner in the loom with some white dye and the first letter we're making is B so a vertical row of white on the left the right horizontal top through the middle the bottom next will be O so vertical on the left vertical on the right horizontal on the top horizontal across the bottom we can use that letter twice so you might have to make it again I don't we're going to now make K so vertical row on the left diagonal of a diagonal. Boom. There we go. We have K. Next would be S. So horizontal on the top, the bottom, and the ever confusing, is it this diagonal or this one? It's this one. Top left corner to bottom right corner. And here we have box. <laughs> so we are going to start the sign right here. Not the first black concrete, the next one in. B O O K S. Easy peasy. Looks really good, I think. And this store looks all fine as it is, but it is missing a couple of finishing touches. So I am actually going to destroy all of those. So we're going to grab ferns, birch sapling, spruce sapling, oak sapling, light blue concrete, white concrete, um, light gray concrete, red concrete, yellow concrete, and then we'll grab the others as we need them. So these saplings are placed underneath this window in order that I've kind of grabbed them, with ferns in between them. There we go. Nice and simple. So let's get rid of these, and let's grab the two remaining concretes, purple and lime. And the light blue concrete that we're going to start off with is placed actually directly here, on top of the green, I think. Or do, or do we place it one step further? We might place it here, so literally, not where we have the green concrete, but literally like inwards diagonally from this corner, we're gonna place a light blue concrete, extend left, light gray concrete, sorry, 
two light blue concretes, one light grey, light blue. Then we're going to double upon the blue and then place a white concrete on top of the light grey. Behind and to the left of the end of this book, we are going to place a red concrete and extend it up by two. In front of and to the left of the red concrete, we're going to place a yellow concrete, extend left, add another row on top. On the left block, a white concrete, on the right, a light grey. On top of that, yellow concrete. Inwards and to the left from the book here, we want to place a row of one, two, three, lime concrete, extending up. And then finally, we are going to place another book, which I think we'll just place right next to it. So one, two, three purple, and extend it up by one, two, three rows. And that's all there is to it, pretty much. And then we just have a bunch of books on top of our bookstore. And I'd recommend extending them backwards as well. So I'd say at least a couple... So, like, for this blue one, for instance, I'm going to extend it backwards a couple of rows. This red one also... I, I think I'll extend it backwards a, a good amount as well. This yellow one, I think, is okay as it is. The lime will add an additional row, but the purple will extend backwards a couple of rows. So you're not really going to be able to see much of this except for in, you know, certain circumstances if you're from an elevated position or if you're from the back. But it just got, it kind of gives a nicer 3D effect and it, it works from the front as well. It just, it looks a little bit better in my opinion. So now that we have done that, we should never need these concretes back again, he says. Um, nor should we need most of these saplings, but we will need one of them. I might keep the spruce just because. And I'm just going to raid my chest a little bit as well, because hopefully I can kind of carry everything with me now. So now that we have all of this stuff, I'm going to... Yep, I, I'm going to come inside of the bookstore and we can begin work in here. So the first thing that we want to do inside of our bookstore is add two small walls. The first wall is going to extend from here next to this window where we already have a vertical row of green concrete and we're going to place one, two rows of green concrete extending inwards. We want to do the same thing on this back wall, one, two rows of green concrete to help kind of separate the right and left side of the store. We have to make the counter for the bookstore as well. So this is going to extend from the diagonal corner of this window. We're going to place one, two, three, four green concretes. And now that we've done that, it's time for the books. So we're going to place bookshelves all along this back wall, top to bottom, like this. We're also going to place bookshelves here. So just against this wall, just at the top, just like this. In this other room, we are going to place bookshelves along this back wall here, and then along this interior wall that we have made. We're also going to place bookshelves where we have this gap that we've created. We want two vertical rows of bookshelves like this. Then we want to have bookshelves again along this interior wall. We don't want to connect to the glass. And that should be good for the bookshelves. I don't think that we really have to add too many more. So now that we've kind of got the general place sort of locked down, I think that it's time that we add some specifics. So um, why don't we kind of like, why don't we start from this right side and kind of like work our way left? So we'll need stone stairs, heavy weighted pressure plate, lanterns. We'll need uh, barrels. We need item frames. Uh, books, scaffolding, ladders, we'll need the spruce stairs, and this is where we'll start. So, on the counter here, we'll place a stone stair, heavy weight to pressure plate, so that is just simply a till, and something that I always place, I don't know why I place it next to a till, it just looks good. Lantern on the end of the counter. We also need black carpet as well, so this is going to sit in front of the counter space. Um, along the back wall here, I'm just going to have, say, like, a ladder, so um, just a ladder connecting from floor to ceiling just to make it easier to reach books. I'm going to have a scaffolding as just like a little table, uh, a couple of barrels back here with some item frames and some books in them. It just kind of looks like a nice decoration. Um, against this wall here, I'm going to have a spruce stair, so that can be placed underneath or we can stretch this one row forward. 
I'm going to grab the spruce trap door, sir, uh, end rod, and light grey glazed terracotta, and I'm going to make a table using two spruce trap doors extending from this window here with a spruce trap door flipped upon the end. An end rod on the table with a light grey glazed terracotta, just looks like a nice lamp. And we can, of course, add a book onto the table as well, so an item frame and a book. And this looks pretty good, I think, like this side of the store. I'm, I'm very happy with how this looks. It's very nice and cozy and warm. So the next thing that we're going to do is come into this side of the build, and we are going to make another table and a chair. So we're going to place a chair against the bookshelf here, and then couple of spruce, spruce trap doors and we need to be able to flip one up at the end as well and we'll place an end rod whoops an end rod with a terracotta on top item frame and a book once again we can have a little shelf here so we can have a spruce trap door with a flower part and a lantern what am i talking about a lantern a flower part with a plant in it, and I'm also going to grab paintings as well, so I'm going to place a... <laughs> I'm going to place a, a, um, a spruce sapling in the flower part, and then just another shelf above it, and then a painting behind, and then I'm going to have a little lounging area here as well, so perhaps a couple of spruce stairs, and then we could have... I mean, it, we can kind of use anything as a table, we could just have like a single scaffolding or a double scaffolding here, and... Maybe we'll just have the single one and then that looks pretty good and then we could even chuck a lantern in here for good measure because it is a little bit dark in this side, although then maybe we will add another scaffolding and maybe we will add even a book on top of said scaffolding. No, we can't because it's scaffolding, but that's perfectly fine. And there we go, that is actually the book store 100% fully complete. Easy peasy. That's it. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do like the look of the world that I have been building in, I don't know how much of it you have managed to see, Stream City is available to download Java edition only for all of my channel members. If you are a channel member and you're unaware of this, or if you would like to become one for this perk, channel members are provided a brand new fresh download link for Stream City every single time it is updated. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.